hello and welcome back to another video of profit pilot and uh, how everything has been going using the uh, add-on remember profit pilot is not a uh, created by profit trailer it's a independent add-on um, which means you have to buy it separately on a different site uh, from the profit trailer uh, website but uh okay let's get back into the um, demo um, right now I'm looking at my uh, DCA for my uh, one of my bots and uh, today what I want to do is I want to set individual uh, I want to set I want to do individual settings for each coin for example for this strat right here this this one I want to set a stop loss only for this one because um, it's up to this much uh, one thousand nine hundred one thousand nine hundred dollars and I really don't want it to go down anymore uh, so I want to set a stop loss for this without affecting any of the others so this would be strat uh, so the first thing I would do I think one of these just sold I'm not sure which one sold but okay so let's um, create us yeah one of them sold uh, dash just sold okay create a stop loss for uh, strat so I want to make the stop loss to be uh, 12 12 negative 12 percent for strat so we go back into a pilot stop loss is usually in the uh, DCA and uh, let's see we're in default so these are all the default settings but we want strat strat is empty uh, so we're looking for a stop loss it should be somewhere here now a quick way to find what you're looking for is Whole, uh, press control and press F control F should bring uh, this box at the top just click uh, press control and press F together to get this box and then you just type what you're looking for stop loss so here's two there's a stop loss trigger and the stop loss timeout the trigger I said I wanted minus 12 and let's give it a, once it's stop loss I'll give it a timeout of one hour 60 minutes okay so you, now you can close this and you can go back and um, if you want to hide all the blanks now you can hide them and you'll see the two uh, strat settings that I have strat because I hide all the other blanks and you can save now go back to default now see default does not have a stop loss default stop loss trigger is zero and default penny uh, stop loss percentage is also zero so now if I go back to my trailer I know that the only one that has a stop loss is this one strat so if it goes to negative 12 it will stop loss um, so that's up to you it's your preference some people don't like to use stop loss I don't like to use stop loss unless it's an emergency uh, and but I have so much DCA on this I really don't want it to go lower than that but the, all the others are okay so it only has a stop loss for this one alright so let's do something else also besides stop loss you can um, change each individual uh, trail for example for this Bitcoin cash um, I wanna trail it a little bit bigger so go in here go to DCA uh, Bitcoin cash does not have uh, a um, 
Bitcoin Cash does not have a uh, deal yet, so we create it for Bitcoin Cash because there's no there's no settings for Bitcoin Cash in your in my PT, and that's why it doesn't show up here. Only the ones with settings will show up. So if it doesn't have a setting, you have to add it, and uh, then we unhide the blank, and we want to create its own trailing profit. The default trailing profit is 0 0.33, but I want the Bitcoin Cash trailing profit to be 0 0.6. Three, three. Let's do six nine. I want it to be much bigger because I, I want it might go up some more. So save it. And so now only Bitcoin Cash has a uh, trailing of. 69 and everyone everyone else still has a trailing of 33 so you can customize each one uh, i can do the same for eng uh, you can also customize uh, triggers so let's see what the triggers are for the defaults go to triggers uh, make sure you click back on default so here's the default triggers I only have three, one, two, three, and here is the default uh, buy percentages. Actually, it doesn't have a DCA buy percentage here. So let's add that. Okay, so this, this is defaults, my defaults. And I wanted to, let's see, oh, this is my trading view here. I wanted to customize the trailing for ENG. So I want to remove the sell only mode for ENG, but I also wanna customize the DCA. I want to start the first DCA for ENG at negative 9 and the second one at negative 10 and the third one at negative 15. So I can go back here. Here's my regular triggers. ENG does not have its own triggers, so uh, we, I can add that. I can say add. I can add the first ENG trigger we said was negative nine. Then I can add another ENG trigger, negative 10. So this makes it very easy and really simple to customize. And I think we said the next one was negative, uh, if it falls to negative 14, 13. And uh, I want the DCA percentage for ENG to be 100 and the default, I'm just gonna leave that blank. So this is ENG triggers. And if you go back to default, this is the default triggers that all other coins are using. So that way I'll just save for ENG, nine, minus nine, minus 10, minus 13, save. And that will change the triggers for this. You'll see that these will change. Should change after it refresh. Okay, so now it's changed to my new triggers. See, now they have... So you can customize each and every one trigger separately. You can also customize these. Uh, maybe I want a higher low BB. So I can go back here and go to DCA. ENG doesn't have any custom buy or sell strategies, but if you go to default, here are the default buy and sell strategies. So I have low BB, 
5, negative 5, uh, which is fine, but maybe you want to do ENG low BB negative, uh, maybe you want to start it at 35, negative 5. So you can customize just ENG only. And if you save it, it will only affect this. But let's just leave it at the default. So I'm just going to delete these. Now, let's see. 